hey kids, it's time. Go gather up your brothers and sisters. We're going to come together and do a song of worship. And then I'm going to read from the Gospel Story Bible and talk about it. And then we'll join the adults in the main service. Story 137, Abraham, a father to all by faith. As the Spirit of God was helping him write his letter to the Romans, he reminded Paul of the story of Abraham. Paul knew that false teachers were saying that a person could be saved by obeying the law. But Paul knew that God planned to save all people by faith in Jesus. So he explained to the Romans that all the way back to Abraham, God called people to put their trust in what God did for them, not in what they did for God. God called Abraham to follow him by faith long before God gave the Ten Commandments to Israel. That means Abraham couldn't have earned his way to heaven by obeying the law because the law hadn't been written yet. Paul went on to explain that none of us can work our way to heaven by our good deeds anyway. Even if we tried to obey the Ten Commandments perfectly, we would still make mistakes and sin against God. It only takes one sin to keep us from God, and being sinless is impossible for everyone except for Jesus. If Abraham was saved by his good works, he could have boasted that he earned his way to heaven. But that is not what happened. God is the one who called Abraham to follow him. God is the one who gave Abraham a son when he was physically too old. And God is the one who promised that Abraham's descendants would be as many as the stars in the sky and the grains of sand on the seashore. If God did all that, what did Abraham do? Well, the answer is very simple, and Paul explained it in Romans 4, 3. Abraham believed God's promise, and that is what made him right with God. God did all the work and all that Abraham did was put his trust 
in the work that God did. When God saw that Abraham believed and had faith in him, he accepted Abraham into his family and his kingdom. For example, when Abraham was 100 years old, way too old to have children, he believed God could keep his promise and give him a son. When God saw that Abraham trusted in his plan, which one day would lead to Jesus, God counted Abraham's faith as righteousness. That means that when Jesus died on the cross, he died for Abraham's sins too. The Jewish people say that Abraham is their spiritual father. Paul explained that Abraham was not just the father of the Jews. He is the father of everyone who believes in God's plan and puts their faith in Jesus. Through faith in Jesus, people from every nation can be accepted by God and is called a child of Abraham. That is how God kept his promise to make Abraham the father of many nations. So what about us? Do we need to obey the law and try to earn our way to God? Do we work our way to heaven by keeping God's rules and never doing anything wrong? The answer to both is no. God wants us to follow in Abraham's footsteps and put our faith in God's plan of salvation in Christ. God used Paul's letter to the Romans to make it very clear. God accepts us the same way he accepted Abraham. We are saved when we put our faith in God's plan. When we believe that Jesus died on the cross for our sins and was raised from the dead to save us, God counts our faith as righteousness, just like he did with Abraham. Today's lesson is about Abraham being the father of all who believe. Do you remember Abraham? God promised that his seed would be a blessing to all the nations, but he was an old man, his wife was barren. How was he going to have a child? Well, Abraham, it says in Roman, believed against hope that he would become the father of many nations. And it also says that God counted his faith as righteousness. And we too, who believe in Jesus, have our faith in Jesus counted as righteousness when we believe that Jesus died on the cross for our sins. And the Bible says that we become children of Abraham a part of God's promise. God told Abraham that his children would be as numerous as the sand on the seashore. Now that's a lot of kids. That's a lot of offspring. I mean, if I take, this is some sand, if I take just a pinch and drop it on this penny, it's really hard to count those little grains of sand. Can you count the grains of sand that you see on the penny? I counted 420 grains of sand. And then I brushed them away, except for the sand on the nose. There was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten grains of sand just on the nose. If you believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins, and you live your life in faith, obeying his word, then you too become one of those grains of sand. You become a child of Abraham. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Now, stay tuned, make sure you pay attention because we're going to begin the adult worship service.